So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video. So hope you all and your family members are well and good in this COVID situation. So, so in this video, I will talk about the SRM J Triple E 2022 exam details. It is the marks versus expected rank. What you can expect for this year, as you all know, the exam for phase one of SRM J Triple E is completed now. So I am here to provide you the marks versus expected rank. And as you also know, there will be three phase of the examination this year for SRM J Triple E exam. So for phase phase two and phase three, the uh, the application is going on. You can apply and what is the last date that I will talk later in this video. Uh, and here I will also talk about the safe score for, for all type of branches for all campus of SRM college. And also by watching this video, you will able to know rank versus branch. Uh, what should be your rank to get a particular branch? It is CSC, IT or EC or CSC specialized or any core branches so all those things I will discuss in this video and also you will know phase 1 result date when you, when you can expect the result date for the phase 1 and most importantly you will get an idea for the expected cutoff of 2022 and last but not the least you will also get the information about the phase 2 and phase 3 as I told you previously so if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get the complete information related to SRM and other entrance exam other counseling also including JE mains and JE advance in the same channel and one more thing if you want the complete counseling guidance or mentorship that is how you need to prepare for a particular entrance exam including JE mains or JE advance whether you should go for JE advance preparation or not because it is uh, quite different from other entrance exam so all those things needs a detailed discussion for that i am here to provide the complete mentorship program that is paid once you register with me then i will guide you for everything so that you will get the best out of your preparation because last year i have guided so many students and also i will be providing you the complete counseling guidance so for anything you can contact or for both the thing also you can contact me so that i will be guiding you from now up to your admission is done and i will be guiding for all other entrance exam or and all other counseling also whatever you will do this year as i have done in previous year for over thousands of students so let's so, start this video so here is the marks versus expected rank for the SRM J Triple E exam 2022 for the phase one only because there will be different phase and different type of marks versus rank that I will try to provide you regularly in this same channel only so here is the marks versus rank and, and before going forward for this video I would like to inform you that, you that in the phase one examination of SRM J Triple E there was very less yes. number of a student appeared there is no correct data available but according to the information that I am getting there was very less a student appeared in the examination because it, it is the first entrance exam of 2022 so many student we are not able to register for this uh, for this exam so for them there is phase 2 and phase 3 because last year also there was three phases of the SRM JEEE exam conducted so, so here is the data that is if you get 120 plus mark then your rank will be under 100 for sure and for 115 plus marks your rank will be under 350 and you will get this type of rank you will get the scholarship also it is you will not have to pay any type of fee by joining the CSC branch at KTR campus so next if you talk about 110 plus marks then your rank will be under 650 400 plus marks your rank will be under 1.4 thousand and for 90 plus marks your rank will be under 2.7 thousand for 80 plus 4.8 thousand as there was very less a student appeared in the examination that's why you are getting good good rank at low marks as well so I would like to inform you that there will be different marks versus rank for different phases because in different phase of the SRM JEEE exam different number of a student will appear. So next if you talk about for 70 plus marks your rank will be under 7000 for 60 plus your rank will be under 10,000 and for 50 plus your rank will be under 15,000 for 40 plus your rank will be above 20,000 it is not exact how many number of a student appeared in the examination so uh, but you can expect around 20 to 25,000 may be the number of a student appeared in the examination and one more thing I would like to inform you before going forward for this video that is as you all know the the exam was conducted in multiple shifts so they will provide the rank by by consenting the normalization process internally so if you have appeared in the easy shift or difficult shift you will get the rank after the normalization process that they will do internally so next there is a information that is total there will be three phase as i told you earlier also and the first phase examination is already conducted in the month of january that is, that is already conducted on 8th and 9th of the january and the and second phase will be conducted in april and third phase will be done in june so next if you talk about the result of phase one because many students are asking regarding that so result will be out in the month of February you can expect in the second or third week of February you will get the result because they have to conduct the counseling also for the phase one because different phase have different type of counseling and before the second phase they have to conduct the first phase counseling so that 
a student can make their mind to attend the second phase of the examination so next i will talk about the safe score for snm j triple e to get the different type of branches for ktr campus or to get the other remaining campuses because most demandable is ktr campus and rest remaining are the second priority of the student so here is the first one it is csc so for ktr campus if your rank will be under 2000 you can you can get the csc branch and if you are looking for other campus of srm college then you can get the csc up to 4000 also so next if you talk about csc space license because there are so many specialization branches of csc uh, csc available in the srm college so for ktr campus you can expect it to get up to 6000 and i am providing this detail by by taking the reference from last year or also by the current year trend because i am doing all type of counseling across india from previous so many years that's why i am getting the all type of trend that is the current year trend so according to that i am providing you the expected cut off so that you you can estimate yourself which type of branch with which campus you are going to get in the SRM counseling that will happen very soon and so, also i have guided so many a student last year in the SRM counseling to get the admission in the best possible at their rank so you, if you want the complete counseling guidance for SRM counseling or any other counseling whatever you will do this year because every student nowadays are doing multiple counseling to get yeah, the best, best out of their preparation so i will also suggest you do multiple counseling first of all you have to appear in multi multiple entrance exam thereafter you will do the multiple counseling to to get the best out of your preparation So next, if you talk about for EC branch for ATR campus, the cutoff will be up to eight thousand, and for rest campus, you can get EC branch up to seventeen thousand rank as well. And you can take this data for the phase two and phase three also because in each phase there will be similar similar number of a student will appear. So you can take the reference from this video for the phase two and phase three as well. But I will try to provide you the updated video time to time for the phase two and phase three as well. So next, if you talk about for IT branch, KTR campus four thousand, Rust campus eleven thousand. And next, if you talk about the core branches, that is mechanical, civil, electrical, those type of branches, or any lower branches also, you can get up to thirteen thousand rank in KTR campus, or lower than that also because the core branches demand is very low nowadays. And 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 for Rust campus, you can get the core branches above twenty thousand rank as well. So next, there is the information. It is each each phase will have separate counseling. As I told you earlier, there will be separate counseling in each phase, and there is a fixed number of seat available in each phase. So, so all, fixed number of seat will be considered for a particular particular phase of the counseling, and for the next uh, some fixed number of seat. And the last, the there will be there will be the allotment of all the rest seat available for this year. Because as I have seen this thing in the previous year, that's why I'm pro I am providing you the information so that you will not have any type of problem related to the SRM count. counseling this year so as there will be separate counseling for each phase so there will be separate cut off also for each phase so this is all about the safe score and marks versus rank for the srm j triple e 2022 so if you find this video very useful so very soon i will try to provide you the other information related to srm college and other entrance exam other counseling also in this channel only so please try to subscribe the channel and if you want the counseling guidance you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number thanks